Hello and welcome to Mugged Off, the show where everything is true as long as the contestants can be convincing. I'm your host Phil and on the show today we have Alice and Johnny. How are you all doing? I'm fine. I'm dead. I'm ill. Great. I don't care. Right. The rules are simple. In front of you are a number of statements, some true and some false. All you have to do is make me believe that I, they are all true and relate to you as I have to guess if they are real or not. And if they are true, who said them? Are we all clear on the rules? No. Cool. Then let's have the first statement, please, Johnny. Okay, so my first statement is, I hate bread. You hate bread? Yeah. How can you hate bread? That's like um, a necessity for I making need sandwiches. To, I need to clarify this one a second. I don't hate like bread as like umbrella bread, just like, you know, sort of like plain white loaf bread. I prefer, like, I like types, like different types of bread. So I like pizza crust, like, oh, you know, okay, yeah. and I like... Um, flatbreads and stuff, mm -hmm. but like normal loaf bread, just doesn't appear appeal to me. I'm more of like a I get I like to get my. Carbs. I'm more of a baguette guy. You know? <laughs> no, I prefer like <laughs> rice and pasta for my carbs. Oh, uh, okay, I get you. Um, yeah. I. Mm. Would you Would you like to ask Alice why she hates bread? Why do you hate bread? Well, I just hate all bread. Like you hate all bread. I can't. You're breadist. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, I just don't like bread, like, I've never been able to eat it, like, I've never been able bring... to eat bread. Like, oh. Owen! Oh! Oh, man! <laughs> Gluten free! <laughs> I've, like, when I was little, I'd never, I'd never bring sandwiches in school, never, never. I'd never, never like, bring sandwiches. no, I'd have to bring oh, in, like, you that little... pretentious <laughs> one that brought couscous or what have you? Oh, God, oh, couscous. <laughs> yeah, I'd bring in couscous, couscous rice. Pasta, anything. Anything except. but bread. <laughs> anything but bread. Okay, um, hmm. I think that is a complete lie. You are correct, it is a complete lie. Yes, I win. Okay, next statement please, Alice. I was really upset last Christmas when I didn't get the Elsa dress I really wanted. Okay, first of all, you are how old, 16? I'm 16. So you're 16 and you want an Elsa dress. Yes. There are already a number of questions I have. <laughs> uh, why did you, why did you want an Elsa dress? Are you just that because much into Frozen? Elsa is the first Disney queen. She is an amazing person, and I aspire to be her. <laughs> oh God, and I aspire yeah, to be a talking the whole snowman. Killing the kingdom thing. I think that's what makes her really special because she's got flaws, you know, and she resolves. She them. has loads of flaws, and I can relate. <laughs> yeah. I can't really. Can you now? <laughs> yeah. Johnny, why did you want an Elsa costume for Christmas? One word, Comic-Con. I guess that makes sense. Because um, my birthday's in June and Comic-Con was in July. Mm. I wanted to go as Gender Ben Elsa to... Um, right. So I was going to take the dress and I was going to mould the skirt bit into like a pair of pants. And I was going to I was gonna change it like that. But of course I didn't get the thing. And I just realised it was Christmas, not... <laughs> So I already know that it is a lie. Yes, it was a lie. <laughs> okay, next statement, Johnny. I done goofed that one. You done goofed it. I once tackled a woman into the sea. Uh, why did you tackle a woman into the sea? Can you it's please elaborate? It's a very long story, but to put it short, I was playing on the beach with my little brother. Right. And we were playing tag. <laughs> but we were playing slightly rougher than tag, so it was a bit more like manhunt but tag, so oh, you've got to yeah, tackle them all the way to the ground and do it. And we were at, um, but we were on the beach, and there was this old woman. She was going in for a paddle. Oh, and God. my little brother decides to, to, to like stay and you like come at me, bro, in front of him. Yeah. So oh, I no. run straight oh, forward. Oh, God. I pull up all the momentum. <laughs> and he just two steps to the left. And into oh. the old woman. A little miscalculation. <clears throat> uh, why did you her. tackle a woman into the sea, Alice? Well, you know, sometimes they have those pier type things. Oh, yeah, and yeah. They're not usually that good with safety, <coughs> like, they won't have a railing up. So, I'm not very good with coordination. <laughs> so, I was stood on the end. So, I was like, come on, Dad, get a picture of me on the edge of the pier because I'm a daredevil. <laughs> so, I stood on the end. Old one was stood near me. I turned around, so I was like, oh, Dad, get a picture of me leaning over the side. Oh. Turned around. Oh, no. Took a step forward. 
Slipped and tackled her off the pier. <laughs> you slipped <clears throat> by accident and dived towards her <laughs> for a tackle and tackled her into the sea. Yes. Okay, um, I, I think that's a lie, but I also think it's the truth. Like, I think Johnny, I think Johnny did it, and I think it's the truth, but I don't know. It seems like something that would happen, but not very often. I think, I think that is a truth. You're correct, it is the truth, but you got mugged up! Oh no! It wasn't me, it was in fact Alice! Oh yeah. my god, oh. Was the woman okay, by the way? Oh yeah, she was, was fine. Was it actually off a pier as well? Yeah, it Where? was only a small, small pier, but... Where was that? More like a jetty. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just in Spain, oh, okay. so she didn't speak English. No harm, no harm. <laughs> Great. Okay, uh, next statement, Johnny. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Next yeah. statement, Alice. I locked myself in the toilets on the first day of school. Uh, why? Well, see, I'd brought a bottle of water to m with myself, mm. to, like, because I need to stay hydrated and all that, so mm. I was like, I'm going to come to school prepared. And I was walking, and someone bumped into me, and, and I had a lot of pens in my bag. The pen... See, I had a fabric bag because I thought I'll be cool and I'll get a really pretty bag with all <laughs> flowers on the front because oh, it's my okay. first, yeah. first year of school, first year of high school. So oh, high school, okay. I'm not quite sure. I think it was a pen or something or a pencil stabbed the water bottle. The water bottle leaked <laughs> all through the bag, all onto my skirt. Oh, no. So that's, I had a massive water stain oh, on the front that's of my That's got to be grim. Like, yeah. Especially so on the first day as well. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Out. But I would have chosen, like, I locked myself in the toilets because I was shy, not... If I was shy, I wouldn't be doing this. Right, no, that's true, yeah. Okay, Johnny, why did you lock yourself in the toilet? Right, so it was the first day of primary school, and it's like one of those <coughs> traumatic memories that just sticks in your head because I was five years old and I was terrified. Mm. And... Uh, so I'd just gone to the toilet. It was like halfway through the day or something. I'd just gone to the toilet, I'd gone in, and I flushed the toilet and I turned around and I just couldn't get the lock because it's quite an old school. Yeah. And even though it was like, it was quite new, the, the building where the infants were, um, the lock was a bit rusty and I couldn't get the bolt open. Yeah. So I ended up like <laughs> just trapped in the cubicle. <laughs> and uh, I remember that I tried to, um, slide underneath the door, but me being a fat child oh, couldn't no. actually get out. <laughs> and so I just ended up shouting desperately for my Help! teacher, who was literally just across the um, corridor. Oh, that's okay. No, she didn't hear me. Oh, crap. I, I ended up, I, I did end up getting the vault open, yeah. but it, it took me about like the best part of 20 minutes. And yeah. I, was, I, was, I was terrified I mean, by the end of it. I mean, like my high school, it shaped me as a doors. person. Yeah. It's why I messed up now. Yeah, because you got locked in that toilet yeah. all those years ago. All those years ago. <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty believable, like a rusty lock. Because um, I know there's been locks in my high school which have been super duper hard to open on the, on the toilet doors, but... Hmm... And again, making it look like, like accidentally wetting yourself or something, that's also kind of crap. Uh, Mm, I'd say that's truth, like you were telling the truth. That was correct. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> that was a hard one. Get in, get okay, right. last, last, last one. My best friend in primary school bet me that I couldn't get people to call me Susan for a week. And my, pe parent, my parents, my teachers even, spent the next two years calling me Susan. Why, why Susan? Why did they call you Susan? Well, I don't know. It was my friend Hayden, and he just like, bet you can't get people to call you Susan for a week. And I was like, <laughs> bet you I can. It was just was like, like year four. So yeah. we were like, you know, comfortable in primary school yeah. and stuff. And then, it, and then I was just like, I was like, I went up to like Mrs. Bennett, and I was like, Mrs. Bennett, can you call me Susan? Don't ask why. It's just. A, a joke I have with Hayden. <laughs> and Mrs. Bennett, God bless her, she was amazing. Mm. So she just called me Susan, but then it spread around the staff room. Oh, no. Yeah. So wait, you're... T you're I had a traumatic teachers, primary school experience. So the teachers called you two, for two years, Susan. Four, year four and year five, they called me Susan. 
Parent, the so. only time they didn't call me Susan was at parents' evening. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> Welcome back to parents' evening. That was, that was pretty much it. Hmm. Okay, uh, what's... Why well, did they call you Susan instead of Alice? I was in year five <coughs> and I was relatively cocky. Like, I wasn't year six cocky, but year five cocky. I was nearly the top of the of school. Mm. Yeah. So, and me and my friends wanted to try and scare my friend. I don't know why. We were <laughs> year five and we thought, we'll scare her by thinking we've tricked her for all these years and my name's not really Alice. Uh. So... I thought it was a brilliant plan. I thought I was an absolute genius for coming up with it. <laughs> year five. Being a year five. Year five logic is the best. Yeah. <laughs> so she, my friend bet me that I couldn't do it. She was like, you obviously can't mm. get everyone to call you Susan to pull this off. You're not going to do it. And I was like, yes, I can. I'm a year five. <laughs> I'm a year five. Yeah. I can do anything. It's like when kids say on TV programs, I'm 13, mum, I can do what I want. Come on, mum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, face, real me. <laughs> so, I convinced most of my class because we were all willing to make fun of this girl yeah, who'd yeah. been absent for the day. And then I told the teachers, they were kind of all right with it. They did find it a bit strange hmm. and they were like, won't this girl be upset? And we were like, no, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Yeah. She's year five. She's, she's okay. Yeah. Then the girl came in. And she was, I was like, my name's Susan. And she was like, no, it's not. It's Alice. And I was like, no, it's Susan. I swear to God, it's Susan. And she was like, no, it's Alice. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's Susan. And she didn't believe me. I spent 20 minutes trying to convince her it was Susan. I sat through class going, it's Susan, it's Susan, Susan it's Susan. Listen. I was determined <laughs> to trick this girl. Right, I'm Susan. Yeah. Sure. She obviously didn't believe me. The teachers tried. Oh. But they, they had their own weird sense of humour. So they were like, yeah. oh, yes. Susan. Uh -huh. yeah. it's Su Susan. So it's Alice. It obviously didn't work. Yeah. And the teacher found it hilarious that it didn't work. And then I was Susan until I left. For the next two years. Yeah. That's gonna <laughs> suck as well. Yeah. Uh, Primary school is hard. It yeah. is hard. It's full of them sad seals. Oh God, yeah. Hmm. I think Johnny's Johnny's lying. Um, because two years of Susan. <laughs> I don't think that's right. I don't think that's true. But tricking your friend into thinking that your name is Susan is plausible. Myth confirmed. Um, <laughs> is it okay? Adam. Is it? I think it's a lie. Is it a lie? And I think you're lying. It's a lie. It is in fact a lie. <coughs> okay, next <coughs> final one. Four so far. I know, right? I'm doing pretty good at this. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I was 13 when I realised that music on the radio was pre-recorded. Huh. You... 13, I guess, is the right age to think that. Um, I don't know, why did you think it was all live before? I don't know, I just... I really liked the idea of, like, celebrities going into all these, like, radio shows and singing it live. Like a permanent and, live lounge yeah. sort of thing. I just thought it was really cool. Thing. And, I mean, I believed in fairies and unicorns, so the thought of just being able to whisk Justin Bieber and Beyonce and um, onto Selena radio. Gomez onto the radio just didn't seem like that big of a thing to me. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, Johnny, why did you think that it was well, not re-recorded, not recorded before? Um, you know how a lot of radio stations, I mean, they're getting better at it now, but like a lot of radio stations are like quite repetitive and stuff. Um, I, I didn't, until recently, I didn't go on like very long car journeys or anything like that. And if we did, then we'd just like switch to the CD or player or listen to an audio book in the car or something. Yeah. Because, um, but I'd only like ever hear like if I'm going to like um, the shops or something with my mum or what have you. I'd only really hear like the same selection of songs. Oh yeah. yeah. And then eventually, you know, it'd change and stuff. Hmm. But and I was and I was just like, well, obviously, like they've just got like some, you know, they've got these people in for this amount of time, so yeah. we'll get them to do the songs. Yeah. yeah. You know, so so basically like a like a, a session band or mm -hmm. what have you, but you know, but like a real artist. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then. They were like, oh, we got this new tune, and then the, the, the recording messed up on it, and I was uh, like, wait! Hang on. <laughs> yeah. I think it was on, like, Radio 2 or something. You know, one of the, one yeah, of the, yeah. the, 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 the less well 
done BBC radios. Harsh Browns. <laughs> so uh, I'm a Radio Four person. Uh, oh. You know, if we're from not listening to music. Um, I'm a Win Stanley Radio person at heart. Mm. So many plugs today. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you only realised at 13 that it was that was pre-recorded music. Also, I'm just very gullible. At you know 13. this, I'm very gullible. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Uh, someone at work earlier um, had tried to convince me and succeeded for about three hours that we had to have a separate qualification to be able to use the hose in the changing rooms. Really? Yes. Really? <laughs> really? Like, really? Well, you know how it is with health and safety and stuff. You need yeah. an extra qualification to go on the, the scaffolding. So I was like, well, maybe it's the same. But using hose. a hose is but different it's, it's to like going a, it's, up a it's, building. It's not just like one that you plug into like the, the, the tap and stuff. It's actually like a proper like fire grade hose. Right, right. But, I, uh, I get you. I get that. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you thought you both thought that pre-recorded music was all live before, you, like, when you were 13, you only realised then. Uh, no, just the stuff on the radio. Just the, well, yeah, yeah just the CDs stuff. CDs were a thing. Yeah, yeah, but just the stuff on the radio. I think that's, I think that's also a lie. Yep, it was a lie. I'm the best at this game. However, the thing about the hose was true. <laughs> Is it now? That's cool. Anyway, <laughs> that's all the time we have for, um, hang on, I just think I'll thank you. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I think I want to thank my contestants, Alice and Johnny, and thank you for watching. I hope you'll be able to join us again for another episode of Mugged Off. Bye-bye.